Did we break it or something? Oh crap, that was V. Uh, don't press V because that happens. What's going on guys? My name is The Wolf Fairies and welcome back to another episode of Insane Siege Creations. And of course Multiverse has come out so now we can actually check out both maps and creations so that just makes it even better. Uh, to start off with, the vehicle is RC2 Fastest Vanilla Racer and the map is Grid Map White which is by the Sensor Studios. If you guys want to check him out of course I'll leave the link to his channel and the map itself down below in the description. Uh, but yeah, as you guys see here someone has joined us that is Dragosh. Hello Dragosh. So we're going to be checking out this map and maybe a couple others today and yeah we'll just see where it goes. Uh, how do I move this thing? I actually don't have the controls. It looks like engine on is X so let's go and toggle that on oh crap okay now we're going uh now it, i think it is tfg and h to move around okay yeah we can just steer like that no big deal okay no need to panic let's go and just go up this mountain a little bit as i try to figure out how to go faster uh acceleration is r and y i believe so let's go ahead and press a little bit of r and hopefully we'll just go faster oh gosh we kind of broke a little bit dang it man also the game kind of froze there for a second let's go and just crash down here uh because yeah we don't need visibility mode with this vehicle so we get to see some nice little crashes like that this is actually pretty cool let's go ahead and just activate this thing again and we'll go this way this time and try to go off one of these jumps i think it is r to go faster anyway yeah it seems like it. oh gosh we're going really fast now let's go and try to make it over that oh gosh this is not going too well at all i also noticed you can actually steer without even starting it so yeah you can do that there it's going to just go up this way this time and maybe we'll try to like slow down a little bit and try to go up this here we go nice and slow we kind of figured it out now we just have it going at a nice little creep along speed here let's go and go just a little bit faster and uh, yeah, this is actually really nice. I like that it has the variable acceleration and stuff like that. Let's go and go really fast off this just because we can. Look how awesome that was. Let's go and see how the crash goes. Just like that. Beautiful, of course. This is just so cool though. I really like this. Let's go and try to go off to this side this time. Oh gosh, okay. We just had to steer. And let's go and try to go down one of these tubes. Oh gosh, we're kind of drifting a little bit. No big deal. Oh, I thought there was actually going to be stuff inside them. It just looks like a tube. Uh, but we can still like go around it and go around in circles. Let's go and try to do that. Here we go, right over like this. And then turn our speed on. Oh gosh, this thing's just so fast though. I wish it would start off a little bit slower and yeah we can't even make it into that without breaking so that's probably not going to work went ahead and turned invincibility mode on so we can actually get inside this thing let's go and just go just like that oh gosh okay we kind of bounced off there we go we're inside let's go and zoom in a little bit and try to go around in a circle if we can Okay, this is uh, not quite working. Oh gosh, okay, this vehicle's kind of freaking out. I think there's some kind of like air fins or something on it that is actually propelling it forward uh, because yeah, as you guys see, we're not even on our wheels. We're still moving around and uh, yeah, this vehicle's just freaking out. Oh gosh, okay, I got this thing going and now it's going in reverse. I don't know what I did. I think I pressed G, was it maybe? Okay, yeah, G goes in reverse just like that. Uh, so yeah, don't press that if you want to go back, if you don't want to go backwards. Let's go and just go over here and try to run into him though, if that would not have happened. Oh gosh, we're kind of freaking out. Oh, we're flying right above him. Just look at that. Okay, that was actually pretty cool until we started flying backwards. We'll just go ahead and explore some other stuff over here because I realized that, yeah, we still are on the first map and the first, like, build after all. Uh, but yeah, this is actually just really cool. I really like this map. There's a lot to explore. Uh, next, let's go and check out this rock wall over here. If we can actually get this thing to turn over, we can just use our little bit of god tools. No big deal. Flip this bad boy over. Come on, buddy. You just want to flip off? There goes Dragosh just flying down to the ground. What are you doing over there, buddy? Ow. Ugh. I'm experiencing a cramp, but we're still going through this. Oh, okay, just flip this guy over. Come on, get over, get over, freaking you stupid vehicle. Just flip over. Why aren't you flipping? Come on, just, whoa, oh gosh. Okay, now we're flying through the air. No big deal. This is, this is normal. Let's go and try to go around the track, actually, because, yeah, I've seen this, and let's go and just try to go around it. Might not be able to go too fast, but, you know, it'll be pretty fun. I did say I was going to go off over that rock wall, but it's pretty much just like the same first one, uh, so let's not worry about that. Go around this little curb. No big deal. Kind of just bouncing. This is normal things in Besiege. Let's go and fly across that whoa oh gosh okay i don't even know what just happened oh i pressed g in midair and it made it start flying backwards that was the problem there let's go and see if we can flip this guy over if we possibly can come on just get out of here whoa gosh okay now we're flying through the universe all right that that's fine so he's wanted me to look at this vehicle over here uh yeah it's it's a nice little vehicle i see it that's pretty cool uh does it do anything like special or something i'm not exactly sure it's going to just run into him though oh gosh oh it does split open like that that's pretty cool but now we're just kind of merging into each other he has some kind of cans going on there he's not having a great day this map is just so cool though there's so much to explore let's go ahead and try to go off over this direction this time uh yeah we are going in reverse but don't worry about that if we can get through the trees no big deal okay this is kind of like the little rocky mountain area over in the grid map that's really cool he has a lot of detail into this i also see some stuff over here in the distance that i couldn't see before i'm uh, just trying to get you know a nice little picture all around see what kind of stuff we should actually check out he's doing something back here what are you doing back here buddy are you trying to get me I, I don't want you to get me i wouldn't appreciate that very much it looks like the front part blows off and then it shoots off like that i don't exactly know what's going on but yeah it's some kind of weird vehicle that's kind of freaking out there and he also has the cannon balls exploding on which is really good so it doesn't lag out the server and uh yeah he's just kind of floating up in the air w what is he even doing i don't even see him anymore uh, he, he just, oh, there he is. I mean, this is insane for these creations after all, so let's go ahead and go over here. I did download a couple of different things uh, that would be pretty good for multiverse, but yeah, we have to go all the way over to the edge. Oh, I just noticed down here they actually have a number system. So now we don't have to go all the way over to the edge like that. We can just choose. But that's really cool. But let's go and check out the Invincible first, I suppose, because it looks pretty cool. All right, let's go and test this thing out. It looks like it has drill bits for feet. 
uh, which is, you know, it's pretty normal. This is called the Annihilator. Let's go ahead and just pull up the controls over here on my side. You guys can't even see it, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. Okay, it actually doesn't have the controls, but it says that it's fireproof, so let's go ahead and just go forward here. Whoa, this thing's really cool. Uh, I don't know exactly know what he's doing. He's just kind of freaking out. I'm going to try to run into him if we can. Come on, just like this. I don't know if he's actually breakable or not, but yeah, I'm going to try. Here we go. How do you like that, Dragosh? You probably don't like that too much, do you? Oh gosh, okay, he just shot something off. That's some kind of rockets going over there. No big deal. Uh, this vehicle's pretty cool, though. It's not very, it's not really that fast, but it's definitely very strong, as you guys see. It's pretty much all metal, and he says it's fireproof, and you know, I believe the creator when he says that. We're just kind of running over each other a little bit. No big deal. Don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, definitely very cool. Let's go and find something else. But yeah, so now we can actually go at least to like 10, and we can go like five pages at a time. That's a lot easier. Uh, but this one over here as well, this is the one by the same creator as the very first one, Grip Trainer. Let's go and check this one out real quick. Uh, yeah, it's supposed be some kind of like mountain climber type thing but it's also vanilla I went ahead and turned invincible in mode on let's go and try this out looks like he is inside of us so let's go and just take him for a ride okay you're coming with me dragosh oh gosh okay things just freaked out i don't know what's going on we're locked onto his vehicle for some reason but my vehicle is driving itself around i'm literally not controlling it at all so i don't know uh, what all it's going to do it's just going to do its thing over here having a good time this is definitely just so cool though i love besiege more than ever now just because there are so many maps and so many just cool things to check out and yeah it's just amazing let's try to actually go around it here whoa oh gosh okay we were on the wrong camera sorry about that uh but yeah this time let's actually try to go around it without like flying out and see if we can just keep going all around nice and smooth oh gosh the freaking thing's on the side oh gosh what did he spawn in i can't see but oh what is that dragosh what are you doing okay it looks like a bunch of the piston blocks just on top of each other oh gosh they're kind of freaking out they're flying over to the side this is just so weird like it's weird things that i wouldn't check out before uh, but now we do yeah he's pretty much just freaking out with the piston blocks i think that might be one of the new glitches you know with multiverse uh having so many of the of uh, the piston blocks like that yeah, it's got to cause some kind of problem. It just looks like a snake, honestly, which is really cool. They're not supposed to act like that. Oh gosh, we're flipping upside down. We're not having a great day. Whoa, oh gosh, okay, we're flying. Oh, perfect little backflip. Oh, look at that. That was absolutely beautiful. X Games right there. We're going to try to go around this, though, and not actually mess up. Here we go. Sorry about the weird camera angle. It's just I can't really do too much about it. Okay, there we go. We can zoom in a little bit. And now we hit the freaking thing again. Come on, man. He's still just freaking out, though. He's having a great time. Let's actually go up to him and just, like, see what he's doing. I'm trying to focus on him, but I actually can't because he's just freaking out so much. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much just a bunch of pistons that just freaks out in the air. That's absolutely beautiful. And for our last map today, I guess we're going to be checking out the Rocket League. I pretty much just told him to choose whatever map he wants. And, uh, you know, I can just speak and do stuff and make a video out of it. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to be playing Rocket League. There's a bone or a ball up there in the air. Uh, let's go and just turn ourselves around here. So I guess we're just going to be playing some Rocket League. No big deal. He does have a bigger vehicle than us, but I think this one is a little bit faster. Let's go and just spawn in here. Okay, it looks like things are going. I'm gonna wait for him to go forward first, just so you know it's nice and fair. I think he's going now, so let's go and just go forward here and just bump into the ball. Again, sorry for the freaking camera. I keep doing that. It's just because, oh gosh, I'm used to the WASD keys, but yeah, that's not the keys in Besiege. Okay, turn ourselves just like this. Oh gosh, freaking, I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry about that. Oh gosh, again, I keep uh, just every time try to run this ball. No, 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 not into our goal. Come on, really? Oh god, the game's lagging. I don't know what happened. Um, I think, yep, Besiege not responding. Okay, so after filming that video, I realized that like five minutes of it, the audio was like all weird. I don't know exactly what happened. I think my computer ran out of disk space because, yeah, I'm just bad at deleting stuff. You guys know how it is. I'll uh, be yeah, we're back here just for a few more minutes so I can show you guys a few more things. Like this beauty here, this is called the Russian Topol MSS-27 Guided Missile. And apparently you can actually shoot the missile on the top, so let's go and figure out how to do this. It is I, K, J, and L to move it around, I suppose. Uh, so let's go and try that out a little bit. Okay, yep, that definitely moves it kind of just a little bit there. Cool. Now, there isn't actually a button to fire it, so let's go and just start pushing random buttons. That's X. Oh, that's X. Okay, so you just shoot it with X. It actually didn't come off, though. How, uh, did we break it or something? Oh, crap, that was V. Uh, don't press V, because that happens. Come on, creators, can't you just leave all of the instructions in the description? Uh, but let's go and shoot this thing off again. Sorry about the weird camera angle, but I think it's going to work if this thing actually flies off, which it didn't. Uh, can we, like, just drag it off with this stuff up here? Like, just drag it off. Oh, crap, okay. Nope, you can't do that. Oh, crap, that's V again. Oh, yep, that's the one not to press. Okay, but I pretty much pressed, like, every button and nothing else happens so uh maybe b n m i'm not exactly sure let's go and try to launch it off again though just because yeah i want to i want this thing to launch dang it i just don't know exactly what's happening i'm sure it's like just stuck on with some kind of block oh there it goes weird like it has to be lifted up to get it off like i see this little grabber right there uh, maybe what key is the grabber for i think it's g or something like that oh i think it might just be the firing key and you just have to hold it off until it's actually out of here Oh, okay, I think, yep, that's that's something right, anyway. Come on, buddy, I just want you to take off. Come on, there we go. Right off the thing. Come on, just freaking go. Uh, okay, I'm pressing every other button. Okay, that was V again. I always press V on X. Dang it, man. So, yeah, it is just the X key, but it's kind of weird. It, like, drags against it a little bit, and it uh, doesn't seem to like to actually take off of that. And now we're on fire. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the X key. Let's go and try that out one more time, just to, like, see if that is what it is. Okay, holding the X key, holding the X key. 
And yeah, it's still, it, it grabbed on. I don't, I don't understand, man. I don't really know what, how to get this thing off of here, but yeah, you guys can check it out for yourself. I will leave the link down below in the description, of course. That car wasn't very fast. We went ahead and pulled this one up. This should be decently fast now. I just pretty much want to explore the map and just make sure there wasn't anything that I missed. Oh, and the half pipe actually has some stuff inside of it. So yeah, the big tunnel doesn't have anything inside of it, but the half pipe does. Uh, just something to note there. And, you know, I might not check out every single part of every single map because yeah, there's just so much to explore, all that great stuff. Uh, but of course, if you guys want to check them out for yourself, the links will be down below in the description. In the last little place that I didn't really check out is right over here. So let's go and just check this out real quick. Also, the ramps, I know that I didn't go off them too much. So yeah, we'll try to do that as well. Uh, over here, it pretty much just looks like a wooden, or I mean a stone uh, city thing over there. I don't know exactly what that is, but yeah, it pretty much just looks like a bunch of blocks. No big deal. Uh, so let's go and try to go off one of these ramps and see what we can do. Of course, we're going to try to go off the big one because that's just more fun. Uh, but yeah, inside of there, it looks like maybe some kind of maze or something. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go and try to go up this ramp. We're not going very fast because yeah, it pretty much just stopped me immediately. And yeah, I can't get up it. Dang it, man. Yeah, I think that should be enough footage. Sorry that the audio just got messed up and I had to come back and do this. No big deal. You guys know how it is. Let's go and go back into the past with Drag Rush for that outro. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty dang cool around here, if you guys ask me. And uh, we also just became one, so I don't know what that's about, but that's fine. Make sure to leave suggestions down below if you guys have anything you want to see in the next episode of Multiverse because I do listen to all the comments down there, of course, because you know, you guys are awesome. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.